Ladies and gentlemen, with Double XP leaving the main server and the Alpha Network kicking back online, a ton of information is currently coming out. My name is Dorelius and welcome back to Skyblock News. But before we begin, I just want to say we are about 6,000 subs away from 50k. So if you could hit that subscribe button and like button down below, that really would mean the world to me. On top of that, I recommend you join my Discord down below. We're hosting a ton of giveaways over there, and it's the best place to keep up with Skyblock News. Without any further ado though, let's get right into the video. Starting off with one of our most important pieces of news today, we do have to talk about the fact that the double XP buff has finally ended. The admins originally stated that the buff would be ending relatively soon, and that they would announce a date for its official ending. However, they have not done this, and the buff has simply been removed. Before going over all of the information included in this update, I do want to give a major shout out here to the Cowshed Discord and the Moon Eater YouTube channel for giving me all of this information and allowing me to make this video. On top of this, a major shout out to Wumpus as well, that guy is really amazing. Now moving on, let's start talking about the update. Starting off here, there is a brand new type of material that can be found in the deepest levels of the Crystal Hollows, Hardstone, and there's a brand new type of minion that comes along with it. And I honestly think this is pretty cool, the fact that we're getting another new minion is really nice. On top of this, we have a brand new set of armor, Heat Armor, which is the first armor set in a sequence of sets that prevent you from burning while in the magma fields, which is towards the bottom of the mines. It requires 960 hardstone to craft the entire set. And as you can see, here are the stats. It has a lot of health, a lot of defense, mining speed, mining fortune, and heat resistance, which is pretty cool. Silex and Flamebreaker Armor, two pieces of gear that were able to be crafted prior to the mines coming out, have made their return. Flamebreaker Armor is significantly stronger than it used to be, and is crafted using a ton of enchanted hardstone. The item necessary to make Silex, Concentrated Stone, requires 512 enchanted hardstone to make, and 9 of those allows you to make Silex. This item allows you to upgrade the efficiency level on a drill up to 5 times for a max of 10 levels, or 11 for the stonk. It is crafted with 9 of these concentrated stones. Once again, really interesting stuff here. The fact that we're going to be able to upgrade pickaxes all the way up to 10 levels of efficiency is pretty cool. On top of this, there are several new pets associated with this update. Ball is a combat pet which has ferocity and strength as its base stats, and the perk protective skin, which gives you heat immunity. The armadillo pet is a really powerful one, and is a mining mount. It gives you 200 defense at level 100 on Legendary Rarity. It has the perk Rideable, Tunneler, Rolling Miner, which means that every 30 seconds the next gemstone you mine gives double drops, and the Mobile Tank perk. For every 50 defense, you gain plus 1 speed and plus 1 mining speed. The Golden Dragon starts out as an egg from levels 1 to 100, and it immediately spawns at level 100 and can be leveled all the way to 200. At level 1, it doesn't really have any perks, but it costs 500 million coins, 50 enchanted gold blocks, a perfect amethyst, jade, sapphire, amber, and topaz gemstone, and that's basically the most expensive pet in the game. At level 200, it has 50% bonus attack speed, 50 strength, gold power, which adds plus 100 strength to all golden weapons, shining scales, which means that for each digit in your gold collection, you gain 10 strength and 2 magic find, the perk Dragon's Greed, which means that you gain 40% of your magic find is strength, and Legendary Treasure, which means for every million coins in your bank, you gain 0.2% damage. This does not have a cap. This means that the Golden Dragon, theoretically, is the strongest pet in the game, period. There is no argument. This pet is absolutely ridiculous, and will definitely be every rich player's dream. Moving our way through the rest of the update, we do have some new things to talk about. Notably, there are a couple new drills, which are mostly focused on mining gemstones, and a bunch of new Heart of the Mountain perks, which do actually look pretty nice. On top of this, there's a specific item I want to go over, the Mithril Infusion, which is actually really, really powerful. The Mithril Infusion allows you to permanently increase a minion's speed by 30%. This isn't some sort of fuel, it's actually just a buff to the minion, and it can be stacked with fuel as well. This is an excellent item crafted with some enchanted lava buckets and their upgrade variants. On top of this, there's some new sea creatures, there's also lava fishing in this update, and there's a bunch of other similar items that you can get from those guys. On top of this, there's the power scrolls, which I went over in a previous video. This is a pretty cool set of things that you can do, and you can even upgrade things like the Hyperion and Necron armor with these items. 
Honestly, when looking at this update holistically, it is a true behemoth. Not only are we getting a whole new area, but we're getting heat resistance, new armor sets, new drills, lava fishing, brand new pets, probably the strongest pet in the game, and a bunch of really cool items to boot. On top of that, we're getting minion upgrades and other similar gear improvements that will allow us to take our old Necron gear and make it even stronger. This update is an absolute behemoth, as I've already stated. So if you want to learn more about it, please check out the document below. It has all the information you could ever want. At the end of the day, though, my name is Duralius. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.